Hey team, it's Jen. Welcome to week two. I am so thrilled that you're still in the course. Um, some students drop the course after the first week and they kind of get a sneak peek at what the course is all about. And I'm glad to see that you're still on board. I'm making this video to uh, reflect on week one and also to help us look forward with success to week two. Every week, you'll find my weekly overviews in video form right here in, on the homepage of our course in Sakai. And these videos are intended to recap the week that came before and also to help us look forward to the coming weeks. And I expect that you will watch the overview video every week as I'll give you some important information every week that can really help you to do your best in the course and to guide you forward. So I hope that you um, do watch each of the videos that I post. In week one, we were just kind of getting our feet wet, introducing ourselves to each other. I encourage you to please go back to the introduction forums and to read what your peers have written on your thread, um, as well as what I myself have written on your thread, and to respond to your peers and to me as we welcome you to the course and we try to get to know who you are. For me as an instructor in this course, it's very important that we make a bond with each other in terms of feeling comfortable with who's in the course and getting to know our peers. Uh, that's a very important element for me in terms of furthering our learning. So I wanna see that you're the kind of student that is all about that kind of engagement. So go back to the introduction forum and also to our first forum on the romantic period and show that you're going back and reading what people are writing on your threads. Speaking of threads, I want to talk a little bit about the discussion forums because the forums play such an integral role in your success in this course. The forums are there as a kind of training ground for the essays that you'll be writing in the course. So in the forums, it's very important that you're showing me the skills that you have in essay writing, such as developing an argument, um, supporting your argument with evidence from the text, noting the stakes of your argument, noting some counter arguments, integrating direct quotes from the text, paragraph development. These are all key aspects of um, essay writing that you have the chance to practice in your discussion posts every week. And that's exactly what you should be doing. If you go in and you visit the essay forum, you'll notice that I've posted uh, a link where I have an overview of some key characteristics that I see as part of essay writing. And I encourage you to go there to the essay forum and to read my overviews, which are very, very short. I try to be brief and succinct. And I also have made some videos that really capitalize on what I see as the most important aspects of essay writing, like developing a context or making an argument or developing your paragraphs. You can watch a quick video that can help you to really understand what exactly I'm looking for according to the rubric. As you sit down to write your discussion posts every week, make sure that you are always working with the rubric at your elbow. You can find the rubric um, as an attachment in the forums themselves and also as an attachment to the essays when they're due. So print out that rubric, have it in front of you because the rubric tells you exactly what I'm grading for. So if you have any questions about any of the things that I'm grading for, uh, pose your questions in the essay forum or come to my office hours and we can talk about it. Um, you can find all of my office hour information in the About Me uh, file that is under the Syllabus tab in Sakai. I encourage every student in this course to add me on Skype. Skype is free. You can download it from the internet. You do not need a webcam to participate in Skype. We could text chat. We could also video chat if you like that. And uh, Office Hours is a free, comfortable, 
a place where we can meet and we can talk one on one about your personal experience in this course, your experience with writing or reading. If you love any of the text and you want to talk about it more, if you didn't like the text and you want to find a way into the text, hit me up, come to my office hours. I absolutely love that. A final thing I want to say to you about the discussion forum is that I really like to see engagement. I want to see you making more posts than are required. You are required to make at least three posts every week, a main post and two peer responses. However, I like to see students going back and offering another sentence or two to show peers that they are reading their works and to keep that conversation going. I mean, come on, the texts that we're reading in this course are so juicy. And there's so much we can debate about. There's so much back and forth bantering we can have together. And I want to bring that out in the forums. So show me that you're engaged. Show me that you're invested. These forums, they operate as if we're having a discussion in the classroom. And I want to see that you are on the tip of your seat, that you are engaging in the text, and that you're showing respect to your, to your peers by letting them know that you've read what they've uh, responded, and that you care about their contributions. So I want to see that from you coming up in the forums from the past and also the forums coming up. Coming up in week two, we are reading my absolute favorite literary period, the Victorian period. I am a Victorianist, so this is a very uh, close lesson to my heart, and I am really looking forward to what you think about these texts. Um, as we go into the uh, second week of the course, uh, in the second forum, I want you to keep in mind that I am the kind of instructor that really values creative approaches to the text. So what that means for you is that as you're reading the texts, so let's say you read Wuthering Heights and you enjoy it, and you sit down to write the post, and you read my prompt for the discussion board and you say, well, that doesn't really, the topic of this prompt doesn't really appeal to me. I would much rather write about, you know, Heathcliff's masculinity or something like that. If you ever want to run with your own context, your own argument, your own prompt for the discussion board, I welcome that from you. So in other words, you're not tied to write to the prompt. And that doesn't only go for the forums, it also goes for the essays. If you have a brilliant idea, something that captures you about the text, something that puzzles you, something that really speaks to you, I want you to follow that thread, unpack it, close read it, analyze it, make arguments about it, and show me that you're able to contextualize what you read in a personal way. Because the most important thing about being an academic writer is to capitalize on your unique way of reading the text. Because we all come to texts as different kinds of readers. Some of us read for personal elements, some of us read for historical elements. I mean, the list can go on for 500 years. We all have different ways of reading. And to deny that is really denying the power that you bring as a writer. So if you are struck by something in a text, I want you to run with it. If you don't have the confidence to do that, I want you to come to office hours where you and I can speak one-on-one -on -one about your personal way of reading a text and how that can uh, influence the kind of writer that you are. Why not? I want to see that kind of thing happening in your work. Uh, my final thing that I want to say today is please do go to the student lounge and visit the student forums where I want to see you interacting, of course, because I love interaction. And I want to see you uh, revealing a little bit more of yourself if that's something that you're comfortable with doing. Hope you guys have a great week. I hope to hear from you in whichever way that feels comfortable for you by shooting me an email, coming to my office hours, adding me on Skype, uh, making a post to my own introduction forum. I want to see that you are uh, interested in this course. So let me know. Hope you guys have a great week.
Bye for now.